obsessed with this shit. My motherfucking city is under the water. Like, this is some fucked up ass shit. You got people like, this shit fucking with my money. I gotta run my house on. This shit ain't cool at all. Like, I don't give a fuck who you are. But y'all need to pray for my motherfucking city. Y'all need to pray for us. Y'all need to pray for our city. This shit is not what's up. This shit is not comfortable. Like, bitch, I don't have no fucking income coming in right now. This shit is stopping everything. I don't have kids. I don't have none of that. But I got myself. I got to take care of myself. And ain't nobody going to take care of me but me. Like, this shit is not a fucking joke. Like, I'm literally breaking down day by day. Shit. I love y'all, man. Please. Hmm. All praises to Yahweh by Shem Yab Shah. Give yeah, honors to the apostles and the others that rule well. Peace and blessing to you, brothers out there. What's kicking his word and sincerity and truth. Uh, right there, you just seen um, a woman lamenting about, uh, you know, the, uh, the the hurricane that's going on uh, in a uh, in uh houston but as you can see you know she was still prideful and she's still very narcissistic she was worried about herself man you know and all that pride and all that uh, uh arrogancy that you know these women have you know men and women but you know the subject is, is talking about women you know um i mean that all that's gonna be brought down man and it's in in the last times in the last days man you know what i'm saying all that uh uh you know, I don't need a man, you know what I'm saying? I got me, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing me. Well, we're going to figure out, you know, how just how much you're doing you, you know what I'm saying, when the Lord uh, 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 begins to visit this place, man. You know, so when we see things like this, man, you know, we rejoice because, you know, our people as a, as a whole, which consists of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, uh, you know, that we've been operating, well, you all have been operating very pridefully against the Heavenly Father, man. You know, you treat the Most High as if he's a, he's a genie, as if he's supposed to just grant you, you know, uh, your your wishes. You know, you see how, how she was talking, this woman, you know, in that video was talking like, you know, pray for my mother F and city and do this, do this for me because I need some income. And, I mean, you know, and it's a slap in the face to the Most High, man. It's a slap in the face, you know, to, to his son, Yahweh Shah, you know. So guess what, man? The Most High is going to begin to uh, visit you, man, and it's not going to be anything pretty. This is Isaiah 29 and 6. That shall be visited of the Lord of hosts, and the Lord's name is Yahweh Shah, well, actually, Yahweh, excuse me to be or he he is or he exists uh, with thunder and with earthquakes and great noise with storm and tempest in the in the flame of devouring fire that's right man so you know in the last days we've been seeing more and more of these these natural disasters you know i know uh this particular storm hurricane harvey broke um uh you know uh records of a, a tropical storm rainfall man i think it's up to like i think tuesday was up to like 49 inches which is incredible man you know um and it's still supposed to rain until uh friday so you know uh, we uh you know at gms we're praying for the elect you know that's in uh houston man you know we, we keep in contact with those brothers down there and we understand you know uh the the they're doing well, man. They're safe. So, Barakatha, Yahweh, Bai, Shimmy, Yahweh, Shah. For that, man. But the rest of you people, man, you know, hey, man, you didn't, you, you our, our people don't consider the ways, you know. They don't consider that the Most High is, is, uh, not pleased with their, uh, their goings, man. So, so, hey, you know, this is allude to Proverbs 1 and 20, man. You know, when that calamity hits, man, the Most High is gonna, is gonna laugh. You know, he's gonna mock, man. You know, and we're and we're gonna uh, uh, applaud the Most High for doing His work because everything that we see uh, happening is 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 ultimately because Yahweh Shimia Shah 
you know, issued out uh, that judgment, man, you know. And more and more, we're going to see these women that were at ease in Babylon get touched, man, you know. And it's a beautiful thing because, you know, these women have, have lived carelessly for too long, man. So now the Most High is going to make it to where they're going to uh, they're gonna feel the, uh, his wrath, man. And rightfully so, right? So this is Isaiah 32 and 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many, many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the, uh, the vintage uh, shall fail, the gathering shall not come. When you look at that word vintage, it goes into uh, basically like the gathering of wine, and also it goes into, uh, matter of fact, let me get that for you, brothers, because it was, you know, looking at that word, uh, I, I looked it up in, in the Hebrew, and it just simply means uh, vintage, which I do now. Ba Tazar 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 Vintage. Uh, let's see here. And that's just means simply a vintage. But let's uh look that word up um in the uh in the dictionary because I did that previously. Uh, let's see here. It just simply means the year or place in which wine, especially wine of high quality, was produced, relating to or denoting wine of quality, wine of quality, excuse me. A wine of quality, good year, well, this, here we go. Denoting something of high quality, especially something that from the past are characteristics of the best period of a person's work. Uh, yeah, and, and, and that's what you're seeing, man. These 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 vintages, these jobs, you know, they're felling. They're felling these they're felling these women, man. And it's all I hey, hey, it's all had to do with the Heavenly Father. And she ain't considering that the Lord is being doing all these things, man. She's talking about pray for the city when the most high issued out this judgment, man. You know? The most high's not dealing with uh 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 dealing with all this folly that's going on, you know what I'm saying, with with the uh uh, with with our women, man, starting with with the uh, with the Judite women, you know, the so called black women on down, man, because all the women on planet Earth follow the vibration of you so called black women, man, and look how you, you know, conduct yourself, man, you conduct yourself as as if you're heathens, man. Well, you are heathens because you're following after, you know, uh, the ways of your of your oppressor, man, you know, jumping from jumping from man to man, you know what I'm saying, the man. Uh, man that try to treat you, you know, halfway decent, you treat treat him like crap, you know. You know, uh, he, he, he hella fickle, you know, because you had that uh that option to be man. You play games with dudes' mind, you know. You don't take care of your your children properly, you know. And of course, we're not talking about all. Of course, we're not talking about all, right? But we're talking about, you know, say the majority of our women, man. You know, and we have to be real and we have to be candid, you know what I'm saying? Uh, when we're speaking on the the, uh, the the plight of our people, man, you know, it, we have to be just straightforward, man, you know? And those those of us uh, that had the truth starting from the apostles all down, man, that's what you're seeing, man. You're seeing men that are standing up and saying, you know what, these women, our women are out of order, man. And ultimately, that has to do with... Uh, us going into captivity, man. That's a casualty of war, man. And a casualty of war, you know, is very severe because you get your woman took. And that's what we're seeing, man. So, hey, the Most High is tearing, you know what I'm saying, our people down. And you're going to see more of that. And, and just dealing with uh, this certain, um, this particular uh, 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 lesson, man, he's going to tear down you women, man. And this is very good. So back to the scriptures. Uh, this is, uh, once again, Isaiah 30, 32 and 11. Tremble, tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. That's right. And that's what you're seeing. That, that woman, she she's in sackcloth right now. You know what I'm saying? 
hair ain't done, you know what I'm saying? No makeup on, man, you know? Got a wrap on her head, man. She's, she, hey, she's mourning, right? Verse 12, if they share lament for the, the tates, for the pleasant fields, for the uh, fruitful vine. Man, that was really on that. I could keep going, but that was really on that, man. You know, I just want to do a quick sit down, you know. And hey, we're going to see more of this, man. As things get worse and worse, you know, you women are going to be looking for somebody, you know, that has an answer or somebody that, that you can uh, run to, man. All that independent, I'm a uh, alpha female. All that stuff is gonna go out the door, man. When stuff get real out here, man, you're gonna see more and more of these videos of these women out here lamenting, asking, screaming for help, man. You know, well, you wouldn't do, you wasn't doing that, you know what I'm saying? When, when you know, you had your little job, you had your little, your little um, uh, knuckleheads that you could play with their minds with, you know. You was chilling, you know, you could get busted down. You could be a lesbian one day, you know. You could jump jump from a, 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 a nigga to nigga, man. You could put, get impregnated and put a man on child support. You know, you were chilling, right? So guess what? All that chilling, you know, you kill this woman of Israel, man. You're going to be touched by the Heavenly Father, man. Now, I praise this to you, how by Shimi how Shah. Hey, double honor to the apostles and the elders that rule well. Peace and blessings to you brothers out there that's kicking this word in sincerity and truth. Shalom.